Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a new app that just was released today. It's called OnLive Desktop. This app right here. So, I'm going to open that up and show you guys exactly what it does. It's on live desktop, just going to sign in first real quick. Now, to do this, you just create an a uh, account on on live desktop. Uh, just go to their website. You can Google it, of course, as we all use Google. Once you do that, you'll actually uh, create an account and then you'll be able to sign into the app. Now, when you sign into the app, you'll actually see something very interesting. You'll actually see a simulation of Windows 7. It will look exactly like it from the apps to the widgets. Now, the interesting part is, is you actually have Microsoft, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint on this app. So, I'm just going to open this up right here. And you see the Word 2010 logo. And you have Microsoft Word on an Android tablet. That's right, it's not a third party suite, it's actually real Microsoft Word. Now, you obviously can see I can actually do, do um, programs side by side just like you can on normal Windows. So, I'm just showing you. You can actually do it the same kind of way. And just put it side by side so you can have more than one open at the same time if you want. But the nice part is, is you can actually type right here. Now, oops, let's just go right back to that app. And it is an app, as you can see, so I can switch back and forth to regular Android, which is still on the bottom between the Windows 7. Now, what you also can do is you have two gigs of storage space that you can upload from the website or upload from any Word document, Excel document, or PowerPoint uh, that you type on the tablet. And you can save it on here and vice versa. You can upload every document you've ever made for the two gigs you have for storage and load it right to here. So you have that ability and you can even do fun things like right click. So if I wanted to set this as my background, you know, I can do that. And then we have the little R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Now, there is one major downside to this app, and that is, plain and simple, the keyboard is awful. It's very small, and it's not responsive. A lot of the times, it just, it's not very well off at all. And you can't use the Android keyboard that it comes with, so it's really kind of a bummer. However, there is one simple solution for that, and that's what I have connected to my Samsung Galaxy tablet. That is a Bluetooth keyboard. So, can type like this. Instead of having to use the on-screen keyboard, you can actually use this keyboard to type very easily. It's a Bluetooth keyboard, so it's actually not even connected, but this one's actually a case made by Zag for the Samsung Galaxy tablet. And it just fits in perfectly, and you can type all your documents out like this. And don't forget, when you save it, it actually saves right to the shared documents folder. So as soon as you save, you'll see a little dot, just as soon as it focuses. You'll see a little dot that's blue on the bottom. And as soon as I touch that, it's going to start syncing, and then up here, it'll say Sync Complete. So, it'll sync as soon as you click that button, and it'll automatically save this document onto your cloud storage. So it's really just that easy, and this is, wait for it, a free app that's available on Android Market. So you don't even have to pay for it. It's another free app and it gives you Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, 
and Microsoft PowerPoint on Android for free. Once again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, have an Android question? Feel free to click the I have a question button, you know, if you have a question. Or you can just leave us a question in the comment section down below. I'll respond ASAP. Or if your question's really good, I'll dedicate a whole video towards it. This is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Oh yeah, and of course, subscribe to us, because in the Android we trust.